integrate tan cubed times the secant of x. So we have powers of tangent and secant. So there's a couple general rules uh, that are totally worth knowing whenever you have powers of secant and tangent. So if you have an even power of secant, the general rule is to save a secant squared. So you save a copy of secant squared. If you have an odd power of tangent, you want to save a copy of secant tangent. And I'm purposely omitting the x's here for simplicity. So even secant save a secant squared, odd tangent save a secant tangent. It's totally worth uh, memorizing these. I used to resist memorizing this and I have given in. <laughs> so even secant save a secant squared, odd tangent save a secant tangent. So we don't have an even secant here, but we have an odd power of tangent. So the rule says you save a secant tangent. So let's try it. So if we're saving a copy of tangent, we can write this as tan squared. And then we have secant x, tangent x, dx. Okay, so because tan x times tan squared is tan cubed, so it checks. So we saved a secant tangent because we had an odd tangent. So what do you do next? Well, if you're saving a secant tangent, you'll notice that that's the derivative of secant, right? That's going to be the derivative of secant. So our u has to be the secant function. So we have to turn all of this into secants. So there is an identity. 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. That means that tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x minus 1. So we can rewrite what we have, right? This becomes the secant function squared minus 1 times secant x tangent x. All right, we're almost to the good part. So recap, if you have an even power of secant, you save a copy of secant squared. And then in this case, u would be tangent x. I usually don't memorize this part. I just memorize the even secant save a secant squared. And then you think, oh, why would we be doing that? Oh, because secant squared is the derivative of tangent. If you have an odd tangent, you save a secant tangent. So we did that. So if we're saving a secant tangent, it must mean that u is going to be secant. So we turn this into secants. And so now we'll do it. We'll let u be secant. And so du is secant x tangent x dx. So now we can replace everything. This will be u squared minus 1. And this works out perfectly. This whole piece here is simply our du. Beautiful stuff. All right, now we just use the power rule. Right? The power rule says we just add 1 to the exponent. So it'll be u cubed over 3 minus, And then when you integrate 1, you just get u. And then plus our arbitrary constant of integration c. The last step is to replace all of the u's with secants. So this is equal to secant cubed x over 3 minus the secant of x plus c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has made sense, and I hope it's helped someone out there who is working on integrals either for a class or for fun or just for the sake of math. That's it.